We will start with a presentation by uh, Louis Londe, uh, the technical director of Geostock. He will introduce uh, the underground storage uh, techniques and then we will move on today to the high stories uh, technical uh, presentations. Thank you, Arnaud. Can you hear me? Uh, it's a, a great pleasure to deliver this uh, introduction talk to this uh, High Stories uh, final conference. Um, I have no. La souris n'est pas branchée. Donc je peux faire un. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Um, so th this talk is a brief uh, justification of high stories. I will not talk about high stories, actually. I will, I will try to justify why this project uh, took place. And I will do that in 15 minutes with general, general uh, uh, information on hydrogen storage. And this is the, the outline of my presentation. I will start with a few questions on, as, as an introduction. Then we'll have a look on uh, underground storage uh, of hydrogen techniques. Then I will try to explain why there is a value of uh, going underground for hydrogen storage. And then in, um, in fourth uh, part, we'll go for specificities of hydrogen storage in, in porous rock, and then a, a conclusion. So a few questions as an introduction. Um, I've got maybe 10 questions. Uh, they are not sorted out, just general question. Are techniques for underground storage adapted to high hydrogen storage? And my talk will try to uh, address those questions. Is soil cavern the only available technique for hydrogen storage? Everyone thinks about soil cavern. Is it the, the right way to, to do that? How many techniques are considered for hydrogen storage? Are there values for underground storage of uh, hydrogen? Do we really need to have underground storage of hydrogen? Can we say there are specific challenges uh, for storing hydrogen in porous rock? What is the share of porous rock storage for natural gas? By the way, let's, let's talk about natural gas in porous rock to have a comparison before talking about hydrogen storage. Will it be easy to rely on soil caverns only for hydrogen storage? And does high stories address these various questions? So uh, a brief overview on, on uh, hydrogen storage in underground um, uh, techniques. Well, there are four main uh, techniques. One is soil cavern, one is porous media, and this is the topic of, uh, of those two days' uh, conference. Uh, then you could go for line rock cavern and store gaseous hydrogen. But if you have a line rock cavern, you could also store uh, liquid carriers of uh, hydrogen, like uh, like ammonia, like uh, you know liquid uh, organic liquids, or, or even hydrogen itself uh, as a cryogenic uh, liquid. And this is the picture of what it could look like in a soil cavern, what it could look like in a, in a porous media. Uh, in a rock, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a rock cavern with a liner, and this is the same technique. So let's go for the salt cavern first. Uh, just a few, a few pictures. I, 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 I will not give you a talk about uh, those techniques in, in details. Uh, you see a, a picture of uh, salt uh, cores. Uh, you see a, a typical, uh, well, it's not a typical, it's a big cavern uh, that is uh, that, that, that already uh, has been uh, leached, and you can compare it as, as the Eiffel Tower. It's a big, big cavern. And on, on the photograph uh, on the, on the right hand side, this is uh, a salt uh, mountain in, in Iran. And uh, this is what we have on the ground when we drill a, a well and, and we leach a cavern. That's what we can find on the ground. This is typical, uh, you know, this, this, those layers of salt and insolubles. Um, moving to porous rock, well, 
porous rock uh, storage is done on, on layers with, with uh, high porosity. And this is a, a modeling of uh, what uh, it, it looks like. It looks like uh, underground. Um, and this is an outcrop. Well, it's, 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 a, it's a cliff of, uh, of uh, limestone, but that's what we could get uh, underground. And that's where we have to find the high porosity to store, to store uh, hydrogen. Um, lined mine cavern. Well, I start with a, with a photograph of an of a unlined mine cavern. This is a, a, a cavern which is here in France. Uh, but this is not adapted to, to hydrogen due to uh, high pressure that uh, we need to, to have for hydrogen. So uh, there is a need to install a liner, a steel liner. And uh, this is uh, a prototype that we've done, uh, Geostock has done in, in, in Korea a few years ago with, um, with a steel liner. Uh, we, will not, we will not talk about this today, but it's, uh, it's an alternative when uh, there is no salt and when the porous media is not available. Okay, uh, let's talk about value of hydrogen storage. Well, actually, this is not something that uh, uh, that is that is presented by by ourselves. It's it's something that I found in a, in a very interesting report that you can find um, on the net. It's Artelis report. You can find it on a GIE website. I put the, uh, the, the the address here. And in this very interesting, uh, I would I would encourage you to read it. It gives five values for hydrogen storage. One is arbitrage because storage enables sourcing H2 when it is the cheapest on the market. Number two, system value. Storage of hydrogen enables avoiding over-investments in infrastructures. Insurance value. Storage ensures sufficient H2 rates are available for all users. Kickstart value. That's typical hydrogen. Storage helps optimizing investment in renewable energy systems. And then the last but not least, environmental value storage helps avoiding fossil-based H, uh, H2 production and uh, renewable energy curtailment. And as an example, let's talk about electrolyzers. Without hydrogen storage, underground storage, again, this is something which is, which is presented in, in, in this report. It's not uh, a geostock or, or, or even high stories uh, point of view, but I think it's worth mentioning it. Mentioning it. Uh, without hydrogen storage, underground storage, it would be difficult to scale up and down the operation of electrolyzers. And, and this, as a consequence, if there is no uh, hydrogen storage, then you'll get higher capex, higher opex in alternative flexibility solutions, uh, higher emissions, and higher prices for uh, customers. So there is definitely a value of underground storage of hydrogen. Um, specificities of hydrogen storage in porous rocks. Well, from a, a, a geoscientific viewpoint, uh, we have to address a few a few items, and and those will be addressed during those day, two days. Porosity and permeability uh, requirements, of course. Quality of the geological seal and geomic, geochemical and microbiological uh, activity. Well, I will not detail this. This is something which will be addressed uh, today and tomorrow. Now, from a market viewpoint, uh, you have to remember that 80% of natural gas is stored in porous media in Europe. This is for natural gas, of course. This is not for hydrogen. If we move to a society with natural gas being replaced, maybe not completely, but partially replaced by, by hydrogen, uh, you also have to remember that hydrogen energy is only one third of natural gas energy. So in terms of volume, you see that it will be difficult, it, it could be difficult to rely on soil caverns, keeping in mind that 80% of natural gas today is stored in, in porous media. Besides, salt is not present everywhere, as you know. And even when salt is present, it could be a problem to leach a cavern because you need fresh water or seawater and because you need to 
get rid of, 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 the, of the brine, and this is not always uh, easy. So maybe soul cavern is not the unique solution. As a conclusion, well, I hope you remember the series of questions I asked at, at the very beginning. I gave you the answers. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you, Louis, for this uh, very good introduction to the to the to the various underground uh, storage techniques. Sorry, it's not working. Thank you for uh, for uh, asking so many questions and for answering them. It's not really helping me. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 will try with the ISRIS project to complement a little bit more with these answers.